Hi friends, it's good to be back. It's crazy how many of you have reached out to me in the time I've been away and asked if there's gonna be any more of these. And there are. I don't have a lot of them planned right now, but I have one set of new clothes that I wanna try on. Right here! From an Instagram web store called Soft Sheep. They have like kind of similar to like Moe flavor sort of thing, kind of like anime inspired waifu sort of stuff. Yeah, should be fun. This uh, try on, like all my try ons, are not sponsored. I know some of you might be newer on here too, but I don't have any sponsorships with any clothing companies right now. Uh, maybe, maybe that would be cool sometime, but right now I'm just trying stuff on to see how these clothes work for someone with a bulge. Uh, the first thing I want to show off though is uh, these, these pants right here. These are kind of a, a bit of a meme going around discords for a little a bit, uh, like a few months ago. These are called J.O. pants. They're pretty neat. They have, well, the, the main feature of them, and I have stuff on in here, is a zipper that goes all the way down, all the way down to like right in the center right here. So you can sit down, have it wide open, and do your thing. And the other, like, the they're good quality. Like they're soft, they're comfy. Like, I want more of these. They've been sold out of mediums for the longest time. I think the only thing they have last time I checked was smalls. I hope they're making more though, because they're awesome. I got two pairs. And so these drawstrings, as you can see, are not centered. And that's so uh, when you have this open and you're doing your thing, they're not dangling in front of you. That's like, they thought this through. So the person, the people who made this, did this because this is their passion and I love that. All right, let's get started on stuff from Sashi's. I don't even remember what I ordered because it was, I don't know, a month ago maybe? Cute, this looks like a little sailor costume. This looks like some kind of top maybe. Oh, this is like a, like a trainer sort of outfit, like Japanese style. This is in bubble. That's so cute. Look at this bubble wrap. If it pulls focus. They're heart-shaped bubbles. I've never seen that before. That's that's going to an extra step to make it cute. Some sort of red as uh, full outfit. This is... I, I found that a lot of stuff on the store was extremely affordable. Like, outfits that, you know, I was like, that's probably like 30, 40 bucks for like 10 bucks. So I am curious about the quality. These are uh, stockings that go with this gray outfit. It's like a bodysuit sort of thing. And lastly, so much packaging. I think I've seen this around. This is actually more of a pink. It looks kind of red on my screen. That's kind of a pink. And it's like a lacy bodysuit sort of thing again. Definitely, yeah, I've definitely seen this promoted places. And that came with a couple things. Not sure what this is. Something gray in the package. Don't know what it is. And these little ears. Little bunny ears. Maybe I'll wear that for uh, Easter. Okay, I'm gonna start putting stuff on. And remember, if you wanna watch the entire unedited, well, minimally unedited version of this, don't forget to go and subscribe to my site, The OnlyFans, Fansly, my website, shirialwood.com, because in those places, you can watch the in between parts. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Um, so this part was confusing. I had it upside down at first. It kind of has two straps that go around the legs and then up to the back like that. You can see the end of the straps here. It definitely needs an ironing out because it is very wrinkly. But yeah, on this part, just kind of just, this part is a little cheap. Like the sewing on this is like not perfect, but it is what it is. I think it's cute. It could be cute for a shoot. Also, the way the skirt is constructed, it's Velcro. So it's kind of adjustable. That's good at least. I was worried about how the fit might go, but it is a little small. I think it is one size, but keep that in mind, I guess. All right, next outfit. This one's cute and sporty. I think it looks fine on camera. The panty is a little bit loose, which I, I was expecting it to maybe be small, but it's not. It's a little bit loose, so maybe order down if you are smaller. The top is very small, but the keyhole is cute. The stripes on these are, they're not like a different material. It's just the fabric is printed to have the stripes, which I mean, yeah, they're not the most like expensive set of cute, sexy clothing. Yeah, and this is very short. 
but I think it's I'd say it's like like adult shop all in one package quality. Like it's good for one thing, but this isn't like something I'd probably use multiple times. Um uh, okay, next outfit. I think this is actually one of my favorites so far. The as you can tell, like this part down here isn't really made for a bulge. I had a hard time getting everything to stay and Having the straps that come up here be the thing that's holding it on definitely makes it kind of loose in terms of holding things. I think if you were any bigger than me, you would have problems by keeping things in. This has like a little tie that can be done. I didn't do it, but let's see how it looks with it tied. Yeah, I kind of like it. kind of like it with the straps. Can't leave it like that with the cats around. And here's the back. Yeah, it's not like particularly much higher quality than any of the others. But I think its design is very deliberate. It is what it is. Like, this isn't trying to be anything like a character or a theme or something like that. This is just kind of a neat outfit on its own, and I really like that. Next outfit. This outfit is actually super fun. I think this is going to be my favorite overall. It's got like this heart, big heart cutout up here. This, this actually holds me in better than the gray that I tried before. I think the back works a little bit better too because like it's all one piece so it stays kind of tight better. And I think it fits the best of pretty much everything too. I don't feel like I'm gonna pop out anywhere really. But I like the strappiness of it. It's a cool design. Uh, the way these are made here, if they tug hard, the, the cord will flip and this will get pulled in. So it's the, the points of stress or wherever, <laughs> like the, the Engineering is could use a little work on maybe these specific intersections here, but it's really good quality otherwise. I wouldn't say it's gonna last you very long, but it's this one doesn't have like... I mean, I guess, again, these right here are a little bit... The threads are kind of showing a little bit, but I think this one would hold in most people too. But if you're looking for a cute, inexpensive outfit for your trans cam girl GF, I guess this would be an outfit to pick. Okay, last outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this one. Hopefully I can. It's very strappy. I can't remember how strappy it is. Hopefully I can show it. So to answer my own question, it is almost dangerously strappy. Things are contained for now. Down here is actually fine. It's up top that things get a little bit tight. But once you kind of get everything aligned right, it sits. This is not adjustable. It is like wet, made of like wet look style. I don't know if it's like PVC fabric. Um, so it's like slightly stretchy, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have any like straps or buckles or anything. So you kind of just got to get lucky with the size. It might be one size too. This lines up perfectly with my belly button, which is kind of neat. Yeah, the part up here, it's like, I don't know how someone with any like bigger of a chest than I have would be contained at all by this. I'd almost go so far as to say this is better on like a flat chested femboy than even me. Um, but the, the, cu the outer cuffs do stick out a little bit. So maybe some slight protrusion is a good thing. Um, yeah, even the neck piece doesn't have an adjustable buckle or anything. This doesn't, none of it does. So you kind of just have to like squeeze into it. Here's the back. I'm not really sure what this is doing. I don't know if this is supposed to come up higher because if you do, it's like crossing over this down here. So like you bring it down lower, that looks better in the front, but I don't know if it looks better in the back necessarily. Maybe kind of like that. So again, could be a fun one off outfit. I feel like this will break very fast based on the material that it is, the quality of the stitching. The rings that are holding it together are very, very tiny rings. They're not like bulky honey burdette rings. They are the thinnest, smallest rings. I don't know why there's like a single like thing on this side. There's like one little thing there, but there's not one over here. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Yeah. And it's got bunny ears, floppy bunny ears. These have wires in them so you can shape them like like bunny ears generally do. So anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Happy Easter season. This is a good way to end. Don't forget to check out my other sites. You can see even more than this if you can imagine. You don't have to imagine. And yeah, leave a comment. Let me know which outfits you liked, how you want me to see me wear them for shoots or whatever. And yeah, like, subscribe. Love you all. Mwah.